The Prime Minister of Malta says a humanitarian rescue ship stranded at sea for six days will be granted safe haven. The 200 migrants who were rescued by a German ship off the coast of Libya will be vetted to determine if they are eligible for political asylum. Joining me to talk more about the migrant situation in Europe is Robin Simcox, the Margaret Thatcher Fellow for the Heritage Foundation's Davis Institute for National Security and Foreign Policy. Robin, welcome back to the program. Great to be with you. Uh, members of the EU have been at least the next two days for meetings and, and talking about migration. Of course, it's going to be just uh, big on the top of their agenda. How likely is it that member states will be able to agree and come to a practical agreement on shared responsibility? Well, I think it's going to be difficult because it's not as if this is a, a crisis that has just begun. This has been rolling on for years now. And Chancellor Merkel, who is obviously associated with this crisis, perhaps more than any other political leader, is also politically weak at the moment. That goes along with the fact that there's more of an uh, of a uh, uh, a anti-immigration sentiment in the European Union more broadly, or at least very much more reluctance to take in such large numbers than there was in 2015. Say, so I think it's going to be tricky. Let's talk more about German Chancellor Angela Merkel because you you mentioned the the politics that she's having to deal with in Germany. Uh, her internal political there's internal political challenge from her interior minister on the issue. So they want to turn migrants back, or some of them do. How likely is this to impact the Chancellor's future as the leader of Germany? Well, it's very likely. I mean, if, if, if Chancellor Merkel can't deliver some kind of deal with the EU that she can sell uh, politically in Germany with the, uh, the coalition partners that helps prop up her government, there's the possibility her government will fall. Um, Chancellor Merkel obviously is a skilled negotiator, but I think it's very tricky for her to be able to keep all of the, uh, the competing parts here happy. And I mean, it just goes to show uh, when Chancellor Merkel took in such a large number of people at that time, as she did in 2015, it was probably a bit of a short-sighted move on her part in being able to keep together German society and, and the political culture more broadly. The European chief for the UN Refugee Agency is quoted as saying, we do not have a crisis of numbers, we continue to have a crisis of political will. You had mentioned 2015 as a big year with the number of migrants reaching Europe uh, reportedly lower than at its height of that year. So are politics getting the, in the way of really handling this humanitarian situation? I would, I would reject that comment. I don't think this is a, a problem of political will. It's a problem of the fact that this was a, a policy, an, an, an open borders policy pursued by certain politicians that didn't really have any support among the broader general public. It certainly didn't have the support to sustain year after year. And so this isn't just, this isn't just a problem of politics. It's the fact that ordinary Germans, Italians, Greeks, Portuguese, French people look at the change that is happening in their societies as a result of, of Merkel's uh, very liberal approach to borders. And they're saying to their leaders, we have to slow down. We have to, we have to stop these policies. It's not political will. It's to do with popularity in Europe itself. Do you think some of these internal divisions, like we've seen conflicts between France and Italy, can be resolved? Well, I, I, it's tough for me at the moment to see how they, they will, because the lines seem to be hardening. Mm -hmm. You're seeing yeah. uh, anti-immigrant parties or parties that are, not, uh, that are critical of open borders uh, gain more and more power in Europe politically. They're being voted for more and more. And so you hope some kind of compromise can be reached, of course. But at the moment, with the way the political parties are aligning, it's tough for me to see how that measures up. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's going to be one that we're going to continue to follow here and impact so many people um, across the European continent. Robin Simcox, Margaret Thatcher Fellow at the Heritage Foundation, thanks so much for your analysis. Thank you.